Try our high quality bromate free all purpose and whole wheat flour. Low price and conveniently packaged in 2 pounds, 2 kg, 10 kg, and 25 kg bags. For wholesale and retail prices, contact Chiklisho Limited at 665 3336 or 480 or visit us at Warrenville Canopia. Chiklisho Limited, quality you can trust. Mitsu Air Limited, authorized Mitsubishi air conditioning dealer. No need to replace your air conditioning units ever so often. Split units, cassette, ductable, CTVIF systems and much more. Mitsubishi Electric has long been powering industries and providing solutions for healthy living. Mitsu Air Limited boasts the industry's first 10-year warranty on all parts and labor. Inverter units are also available. Don't hear it, just feel it. Mitsu Air Limited, 246 Eastern Main Road, Barataria. Give us a call at 674-4000 or 675-4000 or email us at mitsu.limited at gmail.com. Assalamu alaikum and good evening and welcome to Breaking Barriers here. Again, I am caught trying to do something that I was supposed to do um, before, but unfortunately, um, I have to do it now. I humbly apologize. What happened is that it is not intentional and I seek your forgiveness while I just do this most important thing. Because if I don't do it, quite a few people are going to quarrel, um, going to quarrel with me. What is that um, I don't want people quarreling now. Because if it's anybody you have to quarrel, is me. Because I am the number one quarreler in a group. Right? So let me just... Um, right, here we go. Right. And I am done. I am done. Good, right. Thank you. God bless you. All right, good. Welcome to Breaking Barriers. Why am I looking so low on my set? Okay, here we go. Welcome to Breaking Barriers, my friends. Of course, it's a Wednesday evening here in Trinidad Tobago. It's a pleasure being in your company. And of course, we are a little bit light on studio audience because uh, what happens is that the man himself, Patos, is um, out. Yes, 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 he's out. He's uh, Americanizing. Um, before I kick off, anybody who have a house and plantations to rent, uh, I want to go to Tobago um, sometime the second week in August or so. So all my Tobago people who are watching right now, anybody who have a, a, a house, you know, I contacted a place called Starkis. Anyway, let me welcome him. Ashmead. I spoke to him already. You're late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashmead. Right. Let me just welcome Tile Expression. And of course, for all your tiles, ceramic, you name it, uh, granite, countertops. And um, of course, soon you will be getting Ronix discs and Ronix uh, cordless uh, grinders and those things across there, so you can check them out as well. Of course, they're located right there in Chaguanas, and I hope to God that they fix that road, because that road needs some serious intervention. Now, um, as I was saying before, you know, anybody outside there who have um, links with a nice hotel that you don't need to be vaccinated, because I contacted a place called Starkiss, looking real good, I want to tell you, real top of the line. The girl tell me that I have to be vaccinated, or I have to come there with a PCR test. So, all you're telling me that I had to take a test that cost more than the flight boy just to come and stay in my country 
And all these people outside of my country dictating to me what I must do. How dotish is this thing? Think about it, eh? All of us going on the same flight. Now, here the other, eh? I could take a test before I leave Trinidad. Arrive in the plane without my mask. Next to somebody who is COVID positive. Talk to the pilot himself, who I have many friends in the aviation industry, who could be COVID positive. Go through immigration and customs and talk to officers who may be positive. Take the taxi or the rental vehicle and make arrangements and talk to everybody who, po who could be positive. My partner Camille, drop in and check him out in Tobago and as well see my brothers and them across there and some friends who all could be positive. And then I have to go to Starkis Hotel and hear what's happening. I have to act, take a PCR, I have to show them a PCR test and plus comply with X, Y, and Z. This is what I tell you, you know. This thing is so stupid. It is unprecedented. The majority of people who vaccinated getting this virus. The amount of young people suffering right now with blood disorders and clots, it is unprecedented. But you do not hear my boy talking about that. All you know who, right? Terrence Tial Singh, you do hear Terrence and you do hear the CMO talking about that, everything under the carpet. So imagine to go for a little holiday just to breeze a little bit the second week in August or so. And you can't even do that without stressing yourself out. So again, anybody who have any family who own any um, house and plantation there that are willing to rent or lease whoever for a week, let me know, please. I need it. Uh, that's my WhatsApp number. Or my, um, yeah, you can call me after the program, 6844762. Or if you have any contacts in a hotel up there, a nice hotel where I could stay and enjoy myself a little bit. And I will, in fact, um, it'll be from a Monday to a Friday. So breaking barriers will take place in Tobago. We will do it from Tobago. First time in history. We'll be doing, uh, ASIM, you will work out the logistics. And I think it could be done without a problem. Um, you just let me know, and if there's anything, I could put one all in my suitcase and carry all in. All right, so let's get rocking. Oh, let me just mention this. On Monday, we did a purchase of about 300 pounds of dragon fruit. Tuesday, we put it to sell. 100 pounds sell out in just a few hours. So tomorrow is the final day, right? Tomorrow, $35 a pound. Here, what happening, eh? One dragon fruit in Massey is about $200. Right? You are getting this for $35 a pound tomorrow only. Last day, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Right? Baraka grounds in Chagonas. Head down there and ask them to sell it all because we need some moody. You better move early. Calif, you better move early too as well. Or if you want, um, ask them, we'll go down with you tonight. Yeah. You can never tell. We could make a spin. Yeah, we'll go down. Right, right, right. That's what we talk. Can't let people know we private business, boy. Next thing we get rubber. All right, so here we go. Um, let's start off, guys. Our Sunday fun day on August the 21st is booked. We're bringing back the old time, long time bazaar, right? And it's taking place on the 21st of August, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Baraka Grounds. This is being uh, done by Baraka Grounds. Of course, all entrance is free, but all you have to pay for everything. Eh? Can't expect we to pay for all the chair plane ride and all them things. We have in horseback riding where we will have Moody um, in the grassy field, right? And of course, we'll have other things as well. So book that day, 21st of August. Organize yourself. Let's go again, guys. Let's move on to the right. North Coast Fury protests like that. Man get killed. Right? They say that is police involved shooting. Now, again, I want to let you notice something. How, and, and I'm saying this, and I want Tat to listen to this carefully, the Telecom Authority of Trinidad and Tobago. In Trinidad and Tobago, right? It is evident and it is clear that when you is a bad man, when you is a gunman, when you is a criminal, when you, is, when you belong to a certain background, you don't get arrested for protesting. Tell me if I lie. 
You don't get Rohan coming and telling you, look, um, whole quotation there for 300,000 for repairs. You don't get anything. But you know what? I glad people in China be go standing up now. And to the fellas who protesting, all the protest boy, all the Lego pressure. Because here what happening. At the end of the day, we all need to stand up. Because you know, just today I was thinking, and of course I like to thank Tal Expression for this segment as we move along. Um, what's happening is that um, when you look at what is taking place right now in the country, it is almost as if the country is at a, at a boiling stage where people just fed up. In fact, just coming in and talking to Caliph um, and, and he telling me, you know, boy, in this place, you know, it really feeling like if, you know, you, you want to go there and protest, but, you know, there are circumstances for people like me. You see, anytime I go to protest because the police have me down as Abu Inchan, because as I said before, since I hosted the largest protest ever that shut down this country, the police have me as target number one. So anything they could do to shut me down, they will. But don't worry, come into Baraka ground soon, the assembly. All you remember that, Moody? The assembly, where people who fed up of what is going on in the country right now will gather in their thousands at Baraka grounds. It's coming. Mark. I can't give you the date, but mark the event. Just mark the event, keep it at the top of your head. And all you know me, when I start a plan, all you know what's going on. So let me leave that right there. Let's go again, guys. Right? You know what is interesting? Cops, crime boss, angered at police involved killing, and he ordered a protest from inside the prison. Imagine, imagine this, a crime boss ordered the protest. Uh, fellas, hear what happening here? Eh? They're using cell jammers and all them kind of thing here. And what happening as I mightn't get through. But I'll try with my digi cell because I ain't getting through with my B mobile. Right? And if I ain't get through, I have my backup phone in my back pocket here. Yeah, here what happened, fellas. Wait now. Derek, where I'm um, Francis. Francis, there, I'll call you back. Right? And then when you get through there, you call all your partners outside there. And nobody know what going on. And you know what is this stupid thing? The Trinidad and Tobago Police Service and the Prison Service know that a crime boss call and arranges. And nothing was done about it. This is what I tell you, you know. We led by donkeys all around, you know. And I hate to say that, you know. I hate to refer to people as animals. But I cannot understand somebody in a leadership position making such a stupid statement that here what happening, uh, the crime boss from inside, you know that a man from inside go along a walk or go along this, and you making that public. If that is not the height of stupidity, I don't know what is. That is what you call capital dotish. That is what you call eating dotish biscuit for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let me go again, guys. Oh yeah, I'll have the burning tires video, let me run that here. Let's run that video. Right? Watch. I mean, you can't blame people. And by the way, this is um this is this is protest for bad roads, eh? Yeah. No, but the thing is that I all I all I'm telling people, look, if this is what you have to do, then I have no problems with this. But just because we're gonna do, you're gonna damage the damage road. But all you have to look at, make sure there's no utility poles and all those things close by and you don't do it next to people's homes and things. I don't have a problem with people protesting because the government, look at this road now, man. But, and by the way, Rohan will come and charge him for damaging the damaged road, eh? All right, thank you very much, guys. All you keep it up, boy. All you keep it up. Look, look again. Wait now, that piece in the back looking like it newly paved? Eh? <laughs> I don't, but, but this, all I could tell is to the people who are standing up now, God bless all you. All you stand up, but within the confines of the law. Let's go again. Um, no money, my foot. Works and Transport Minister Rohan Sinan says that while he understands why some citizens resort to protest to agitate for better road conditions, his ministry does not have the money to repair all the nation's roads. 
CNN was speaking to reporters at the Piaco airport yesterday. Uh, well, you know, he was talking about the fiery protests all over the country. I understand why they will protest. Some of our roads are really not in good in the condition. We would like to see it. But the ministry does have a plan and a program based on the availability of funding. We have done close to 300 projects for the year so far. I want Rohan to tell Trayanne Bego, give us a breakdown of the 300 projects so far and give us the names of the contractors. I want Rohan Sinan to tell us if any member of his family benefiting from millions of dollars. Asking the question, if any one of your family or extended family are beneficiaries with contracts, Mr. Sinan. Right? Most of our infrastructure is over 60 years old. Rubbish. You are talking rubbish, Rohan. Let me explain something to you. You see, in 2010, we had a mass paving exercise. A mass paving exercise. You see, in 2015, and every time before local election, we go there and we pave roads, and roads are paved when rain falling. Because, you see, you don't care, because what you want is a vote. Now, a few years later, when those same roads mash up, all you want to know why. So the roads are damaging. We are the only country in the world that have to repair a road a year or two years after, you know. Because you see, a lot of these fellas and them who are contractors, to get in to be contractors, you have to give a kickback to somebody. And when you finish the work, you have to give a kickback to somebody. So the crookery within the whole system, it keeps revolving, it keeps going around. And the sad reality is that the worst people, in many cases, end up getting contracts. You will not see the top brass like, um, like Kosal. You will not see them all over the place. Of course not. Why put Kosal there? Because Kosal, because Kosal do have, Kosal give no quick kickback. So here what happening. We go get rid of he. What you will do, you'll find Kosal somewhere in the bush somewhere. Because you see the high standards that that company have. The management and the owner. You ain't gonna find he all over the place. What they will do is that they will give him a few contracts to make it look like they're not discriminating. But the fact is that everybody knows what's going on. Now with Junior Sami in Guyana, Junior Sami, you're hardly seeing Junior Sami now. A lot of work Junior Sami doing in Guyana. So what happens is that Junior Sami is another example of good work. But the reality of it is that Junior Sami now, Almost how the pity in Trinidad because you have a lot of these young big shots coming up now. And these are the fellas who are capable of greasing everybody's hand. Everybody's hand they're greasing. They don't care. They're greasing left, right, and center. So therefore, hear what's happening now. When you have these fellas and I'm greasing left and greasing right, and doing a set of half make work, and then you have the blind rats at pure. The fellas from Pure who approved the work at Baraka Grounds and the drain air flowing away. These are the fellas that approve the works. And some of these same fellas from Pure are the same ones that go to Las Vegas, that go to New York, that go to Miami, courtesy the contractors. They get spending money. They stay at the most expensive hotels, courtesy the contractors. So when you see roads falling apart, it's not because Trinidad infrastructure old. It is because we have a minister who dotish and don't understand the reality that a lot of the projects being done is being done poorly. There are no standards, absolutely none. No standards. I mean, you have standards that are sell furniture and appliances and things, but that is about the only standards that we have in Trinidad. When will it end? It is not going to end. It will not end soon. Because you see people like you and I, we like sitting down on our armchair and insurance smell on TV is entertainment. It's entertainment. I go tune in every Wednesday night. And what you do, you don't care. You go to sleep at 10 tonight, somebody come and rob you, you shut your mouth, you take your rub, you relax yourself, you go to work tomorrow morning like normal. This is life in Trinidad, where 90% of the people are complacent and they don't care. The government could do what the hell they want all you. All you don't care. And this has to change. It has to change because this country reaching Venezuela status now, you know. 
soon Venezuelans will run back because Trinidad, you can't come outside again. Your children cannot come out in the night. Your fathers and mothers cannot go out. And we're going to deal with more of those things as we go on. Let me just welcome Gate Automation Company Limited to this segment. And of course, remember with Gate Automation, they could meet all your gate automated needs. Pull back to Neil Shows. Let me just um, thank Neil Shows for sponsoring that segment. And of course, Neil Shows is where you get all your European parts, Mercedes, Benz, BMW, Jaguar, Volvo, you name it across the board. And big, big, big discounts, not only on original, replacement as well. All right, you could check them out right in Aruko or give them a call. Let's go again, guys. Right, so swing slides. Right, so he sought to assure citizens that while the ministry may not have all the money it needs to repair roads, there were contingency plans in place. Unfortunately, everything can't be done at the same time, but we are putting things in place. We have just brought on 25 small contractors. How did they, how did they bring on those 25 small contractors? Who are those small contractors? What history do those small contractors have? And in fact, through the Freedom of Information Act, I will organize and I will, um, I will get um, a printout of all these small contractors. I'm a people in ministry, right? And I, I want to point out one thing. Sinanan said on Sunday he went on a side visit with Energy Minister Stuart Young to his constituency, Port of Spain North, where he saw a bridge that was built without any steel base. Come to me. You know, this man does drive anywhere in Trinidad. We have a lot of bridges that don't have a steel base. But once a wood platform bridge, once what it is seated on is solid, all you have to do is maintain that. And that bridge will last you for years. You do not wait for the bridge to fall apart and then say the bridge fall apart so you could give somebody a $50 million contract to put a steel bridge. A wood bridge could last you for donkey years, serve the same feature um, purposes as a steel bridge. In fact, right, a wood bridge reduces vibration. Well, why you think in some places roller coasters, the framing is made out of wood? It absorbs vibration. And when you look at a wood bridge, partner, hear what's happening now. We don't have no shortage of lumber in this country. We don't have no shortage of people who can maintain a wood bridge. But you see, we want it to fall apart. So therefore, hear what's happening. The big contract had to go. Normal thing. Let's go again, guys. Watch this carefully. And I want you to, to, to digest this. Over $20 billion was spent between 2016 and 2022 thus far. $20 billion. All you show me, $5 billion, where it gone? Just come back to me, guys. I want you to show me where the hell $5 billion gone. Forget the 20 billion. Forget 19 billion. Forget 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Show me where five billion dollars went. Because we are a bunch of idiots. We are a bunch of fools. That is my tax dollars jumping up there. That is my VAT. That is my quarterlies. That is my money jumping up there so I could talk. But you see, we in Trinidad, we don't have a problem with that. Once the rum flow in, once Cora Day, once Tyrico Day, and we could go and lime, and we could put music box on top of the car, and get on like a bunch of donkey, we happy. We don't care. We don't care. Monday could fall on a Sunday. We don't care. And again, therein lies the problem. Let's go again, guys. Watch this. Rohan talking about we don't have money to repair all the nation roads. We receive US 200 million. How much is 200 million? That is 1.6 billion dollars approximately. About 1.5 billion. Correct, Jawad? Yes. Right. We receive 1.5 billion dollars to improve Trinidad and Tobago um, from CAF. CAF and the government of Trinidad and Tobago signed a loan that will help en enhance the national road network 
through maintenance, management, planning, and improving of existing um, infrastructure. Show me where $1.5 billion went. And then watch it here. CAF approves a U.S. $175 million loan. Right? So $200 million loan, $175 million loan, and one was in 2019, the other one was in 2020. So we got over $3 billion to improve infrastructure. All you show me where $3 billion in work done. But you see, as I said before, it had men in Trinidad and Tobago who Rowley and his whole cabinet didn't want close to them. It had men that Rowley wanted, you know, they didn't want them. Now all of a sudden, these fellas are the same contractors, many of them, the same crooks, the same con men, the same thieves, the same vagabonds that they were talking about before. Now everybody's pali -wally. Everybody nice now. These are the same contractors they don't have a problem with. Before the election, running him out, bumping the gum. This contractor is this. We don't want them this and this and that. And Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. And now all of a sudden now, those are the same contractors doing the same thing, but you don't have a problem. Well done. Let me just welcome uh, Boomerine. And of course, uh, this segment brought you courtesy our good friends at Civic Distributors. And of course, berberine reduces blood sugar, increases insulin sensitivity, promotes insulin production, increases glycolysis, um, reduces glucose production, weight loss, lower cholesterol, you name it. So you can check, check them out or you can contact them and find out where's the nearest pharmacy or the nearest... Um, um, this would be available at, at, at pharmacies nationwide, really. So... You should be able to get it at, at, at all pharmacies. I don't think there's any pharmacy that would not carry it something as beneficial as this. Let's go to um, our slides again, guys. All right. I want this to remain on the screen for a while. New road company under Ferris gets $100 million. But wait. That was how many days ago? Could you zoom in to that little blue writing on the top there, top left hand side? That was 73 days ago. 73 days ago, this made the news, where a new road company under Ferris received $100 million. But let us remind you of this article, please. Let's go again. The new secondary road and rehabilitation company will fall under Minister Faris al -Rawi. The new company has not yet been registered and does not have any board members, but a hundred million has been allocated to capitalize and establish it. Finance Minister Colmimbert was grilled about the new company during the Standing Finance Committee to discuss the three billion variation, three billion dollar variation to the budget. But we don't care about that. He was asked about the new company and the multi-million dollar allocation, but provided no answers. He confirmed that the company was not yet registered or assigned to any ministry and that the prime minister was responsible for that assignment. So the prime minister was responsible for an assignment of $100 million to a company under Faris that was not registered? Am I, am I seeing, I, wait, I, 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 am, I am confused. Because if Col Mimbert can't provide answers, and the Prime Minister, who always have answers with, with his arrogant self, how come all of a sudden, this thing turning out to be kind of sketchy? Let's go, let's go back to that. When pressed for clarification about it not being assigned, Imbert said, I did not say that. I said it was a matter for the Prime Minister. Arrogance part two. Right? You have arrogant part one and then you have arrogant part two. Let's go again, guys. Beckles urges new CDA board to develop Shagarama's Peninsula. You know what is the hardest way? We looking to develop, we looking to develop places for tourists and tourism. Looking to see how much money we could get X, Y, and Z. All you think tourists want to come here to dead? 
Which tourists want to come here when they look, they see an every day's bloodshed in this country? Which tourists in their right mind will leave their home, travel overseas, pack their bags and come here to dead? For what? And then we want to go and develop the CDA. How about fixing the roads? Forget all them things. How about, how about all you caring about the citizens for once? A people's national movement? How about actually caring about the citizens of this country for once? How about trying to make a difference for the lives of the people who have water? But no, you know what happened to all you care about? The $1 billion that owing to AGC is all your supporters, most of them. But all you ain't talk about that. All you ain't gonna talk about all you retrieving that or putting anybody up because it's all your supporters, because all you need them for the election. All you wouldn't talk about many, how many of all your supporters not paying electricity rate and tea frame current. All you ain't gonna talk about that. All you ain't gonna talk about the amount of people who support all you, who tea frame water. All you ain't gonna talk about that. But all you want to talk about tourism, all you want to talk about introducing people to the Western Peninsula to do what? I want to talk about the Central Peninsula, the Northern Peninsula, the Eastern Peninsula, the whole of Trinidad and Tobago. Right now, the whole of this country bleeding and all you studying the West down there. It done had one of them who wasn't paying the, the water rate for the water park. You understand? So what really going on in this country? Again, people again, people like all you who sit down, say nothing, do nothing, because all of you are a bunch of dummies and all you decide here what happened. We're going to be armchair critics. We're going to sit down and we are going to be keyboard warriors and we're going to be on Facebook talking and we're going to be on the phone and the radio talking and that's all we're good for. While everything falling apart. Let's go again, guys. Multi-billion dollar Invaders Day project gets going. $15 billion. Who needs this? But we don't have money to fix road. We don't have money to fix a little pothole. But we're doing Invaders Bay project, which is going to cost over $15 billion plus. And by the way, when you're getting the cost overruns, this might cost about $100 billion. Because I don't know how we just do it in Trinidad, right? How we just do it is here what happened. $1 billion project. When you pay about $10 billion in bribes and you do what you had to do, it will reach where it had to reach. Madness. Let's go again. We have Mr. 98 and we have Mr. 58. Now, I want a little understand this. Stuart Young recused himself from cabinet deliberations 98 times since becoming a minister of government. So you are talking about, in about six years, Stuart Young recused himself almost every month since becoming a member of our cabinet. Almost every month. Local government minister Faris al rawi has recused himself 58 times. There were 265 recusals by members of the Rowley cabinet during the period September. So in other words, between 2015 to 2022 and uh, January, you are talking about three, four times and more a month. Ministers of government and senior officials of the PNM government had to step back because, but I want you to understand what recusal mean. Pull that back. Recusal to disqualify or withdraw oneself or someone else from any position of, or, of judging or decision making to, so as to avoid a semblance of personal interest or bias. So what that simply means is that Faris al-Rawi, something probably come to the cabinet involving his family and not to make it look like if he's part of it at the end of the day or if he benefiting, he will say, I will step back while all you deal with this. And this is what we allow. This is what we allow. Imagine you had to step aside 98 times, 58 times, because there were matters brought up that you don't want it to look, that you know, that you may, you may, it, it may be of interest or bias to you. So here we have to not to your family, so you step aside, so they could deal with your family matters in the cabinet day. 
And God knows how many people know your family and know where your family does do for the PNM government. We don't know. We just say, we asking. But what I got to tell you? More questions than anything else. And here's Rowley's answer. Mr. Arrogance himself, arrogant himself, right? Let me explain to the people of Trandebago how a recusal is done in the cabinet. If you're a cabinet member, a cabinet notes come around the table to be dealt with for decision making. If there's any decision to be made, you are likely to be beneficiary or your family or a person close to you or that you are associated with would benefit from the decision. It requires that you let that be known to the cabinet. So in other words, Rowley is saying that nearly 300 times, right? Cabinet decisions were made to benefit friends, family, and people they know. Because ministers had to step back. So nearly 300 times. That's almost every day for a year. And all you will go and vote for that. And all you're telling me, all you're happy. Now, all you really had to be joking. All you really, go back to that slide again, guys. Right? That is the first thing you, um, that is the first thing that you have to do. Indicate that you have a conflict of interest and say it's my wife, my son-in-law, my child, my brother-in-law. You identify that to your colleagues in the cabinet. To not do so is illegal. So let me ask you a question. How much are Kazim Hussein family? How much time did Kazim Hussein recuse himself? How about all the other ministers? If there were 200, there were about 300 recusals, and Stuart Young and Faris among to almost 200, who were the other ministers whose family, friends, and people they know benefited? Kazim Hussein? I don't think so. Never hear so. Who else again? All you now beginning to see this bit here. All you now beginning to understand what really going on in the People's National Movement. And all you want me to sit down quiet and say I go relax myself while this happening? No. Mm -mm. Sorry about that. Let me just welcome Metro to this segment. And of course, there's a massive sale on gloves. And these gloves are for medical use, household, general purpose, industrial, or dental. And these are high quality gloves, by the way, people. $60 for a box of 100. And it's available at Medshaw 223 1900 Get it while stocks last. Limited stocks. Well, you know the prices of those gloves right now. And you know the prices... Uh, things keep going up because of the freight abroad, right? Um, let's go again, guys. Now, when I saw this, uh, I, 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 was, I was almost traumatized because when I read this, a one-year-old baby girl was almost the victim of a fatal shooting in Central Trinidad, which claimed the life of her father on Monday night. The incident, however, left 29-year-old Jamaica national Dwayne Robinson dead. His wife, Alison Vialva Robinson, was also shot in the right buttock during the gun attack, but survived to tell the story. The two had been married for five years and lived at Goodwill Street Enterprise. Now, here is her recollection, her account of what took place. She said, I was facing the road with the baby on my lap. Then the car approached and three gunmen started to fire shots. I had to jump up and turn around to run, and that is how I got shot. So if she did not jump up and turn around, Moody, what would have happened? And that child would have been dead? But it's not saying, and this is what's going on. And when you read this, I had to jump up and turn around to run. And that is how I got a shot. My, and my husband got multiple shots and died. By the time we took him to the hospital, he had no vitals at all. Man leave Jamaica for a better life in Trinidad. They say he was in life. At the garden, always smiling. He was a laborer. I don't know, boy. Sometimes you look at a man, but and I see characters these days, you know. These fellas and them, they don't want no mother. But like I tell you before, when you catch these fellas and them, boy, let me tell you something. Justice, yes, justice. And I'll leave in that right here. Let's go again, guys. A 19-year-old rideshare driver was able to fight off 
and escaped three bandits who tried to rob him on Tuesday night. Police said the driver received a request for three passengers on Green Street Arima and picked them up. While he was driving along Semp Avenue to Punaro, the men announced a robbery. He was able to get away. He was able to, um, one of them from the two remaining in the back, the other one, he fought his way out and he was able to, he drove off and two of them in the back just jumped out. Now, TT Rideshare, right? TT Rideshare is, is, is an app where you call and you can get people to pick you up, different locations that drop you off. There's a 19-year-old man looking to do something with his life. You know what happened now after that? You think he want to go back out there and earn a living again? You know what I mean? And, and, and you know, I continue to say it. We had a good commissioner here. They get rid of that commissioner. And 90% of us sat on our backsides and did nothing. Said nothing. As if nothing ever happened. Lackadaisical, complacent as usual. And then look at this robbery. Ivan, yeah. Right, you park up, you park up your van. Good, good, good. And then, watch you have Super Kobo. Super Kobo come there now, watch. You realize how easy he break that glass? Now, they're teeth in this van. You know what they're teeth in this van for, right? Parts. They got order for parts or they get order for a vehicle, somebody you giving them a little 40,000, they get a van like this and organize. In less than two, three minutes flat, this man gone with the vehicle. And this is somebody's company van here. I think uh, this belongs to Bridge Cell. And uh, they're offering um, a 25,000 uh, reward for anyone. Well, that van, the problem with that van is that within an hour of taking that van, that van gone. And you know where's the hardest, boy? It are people right now who actually know that that van pull up next to them. And they know that the fellas thief that van and they got to stay quiet and don't do nothing. He looking like he can't even drive too. Stupid and can't drive. Well, I got to tell you. You know, if you know I was praying, for while he reversing it, one of them chucking him, rest it on him, my boy. I'm talking about rest it on him. Drive over the van. And then wherever they had on the truck, land on top of him too. Fellas like them, you can't pray for good to happen to them. Them fellas and them, they out to stress people out. And they continue to do it. But what I got to tell you, we have a commissioner who cares about the people in this country. Let's go again. Alert cops catch TSTT cable thieves. Cable thieves targeted um, TSTT's infrastructure once again on Saturday. This time, however, they were caught, right? Four fellas, they two different fellas in two different um, vehicles. And what happened is that the police, one of the vehicles had false number plates. And, but what confuses me, 73 meters of cable with a total value of $5,500. Somehow that song in real cheap. Eh? 73 meters of cable, you know. You know where is that? Yeah, that is, that, that is about 200 feet. Exactly. So what happened is that, and, and that is $5,000? I better use telephone cable instead of any other cable, boy. And they, by the way, they had somebody to assess one time and come to the station, the value on it. Yeah? Let's go to our slides again. Three sentenced to hard labor for cable theft. Two charged for robbery with aggravation, and they pleaded not guilty. Look, Mommy Nice Churon here. This is Mommy Nice Churon who don't do nothing. Mommy Nice Churon. The best are the best are the best are the best. The best. All you too wicked. My Churon don't do nothing. Let's go again, guys. I intentionally put up his face that big. Heinz, constant police patrols to stop further protest action. That is a protest with the murder of the young man that they were protesting. He want to stop what is legally enshrined in the Constitution. But police station locking down at 8 o'clock. Officers 
When you call them about cable, man, thief and cable in front, you're there doing nothing. Behind them, don't worry about them kind of thing. He's starting to shut down legal protests. I don't know. I, I, every time I talk about this, man, it's like I tell you, I get sick inside. Really can't handle him. Let's go again, guys. Soldiers awarded for apprehending bandits. And watch that one in the middle. Watch that clung in the middle. Eh? Watch, watch. Right? Watch, watch he now, man. And this is your minister, Fitzgerald Skin Your Teeth Hines. Eh? I mean, are we really serious in this country, boy? We really serious where we have to actually award people, right? What the soldiers doing all year? What they doing all year? You, 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 you apprehend two bandits and you have to be awarded. Well, boy, I'm gonna tell you, boy. When the doubles man give you China, you must award him as well. When you actually buy a fish pie and you get fish in it, you should organize. When you buy a kiss um, cheese filler and you get cheese in it rather than the smell of cheese, you should celebrate. You should be rewarding people. Let's go again, guys. You know what hole is? We gotta take this after the break. Because what happens is I really do want to deal with that right now. I will deal with it after the break. All right, so let me just thank Med Show for sponsoring this segment. And of course, remember Nitra Gloves, general purpose household medical, industrial, dental, $60 for a box of 100, right? So make sure and organize, even though we, you know the COVID thing is not around and all the regulations are not as, as, as harsh as it was. Remember, there are things that you still need to do to safeguard yourself. All right, so we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we'll continue right here on Breaking Barriers. We'll be back. Ocho. 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 Ocho Candy. What's inside counts. Introducing Berberine Plus by Aja Nutrition, a unique combination of all natural super supplements Berberine, Bitter Melon, and Barnaba Leaf. Berberine Plus is clinically proven to provide diabetic support by decreasing insulin resistance, making the blood sugar lowering hormone insulin more effective, increasing glycolysis, helping the body break down sugars inside cells, decreasing sugar production in the liver, slowing the breakdown of carbohydrates in the gut. Available in TNT pharmacies nationwide. Neuronix is a German tool brand. Neuronix is a German tool brand. At Extra Foods, we care for you. That's why we always have the widest variety, the best prices, spacious aisles of total convenience, plus clean, safe surroundings. Let us care for you. Extra Foods, always extra for less. Mitsu Air Limited, authorized Mitsubishi air conditioning dealer. No need to replace your air conditioning units ever so often. Split units, cassette, ductable, CTVIF systems, and much more. Mitsubishi Electric has long been powering industries and providing solutions for healthy living. Mitsu Air Limited boasts the industry's first 10 year warranty on all parts and labor. Inverter units are also available. Don't hear it, just feel it. Mitsu Air Limited, 246 Eastern Main Road, Barataria. Give us a call at 674-4000 or 675-4000 or email us at mitsu.limited at gmail.com. And welcome back. And of course, this segment brought you courtesy Automax Protectant. And here happened. The only thing Automax do have is orange and grapefruit juice, you know. They have everything I'm talking about. You know, from disinfectant to, um, to laundry detergent to dishwashing liquid to radiator coolant, and now protectant. And by the way, what they are doing, and let me tell you the secret, they are importing some of the highest quality products, and what they're doing is packaging it down here. So instead of paying $40, 
You pay like 20 and 25 dollars, but you're getting the same benefits. So all you have to do is look for the Automax brand on any product, especially the protectant, which you could use on your bumpers to bring back life. And you know those fender flares that in black mat as well? You could use that as well. And on your dashboard to repel dust, etc. So Automax, you can check them out. And of course, the numbers are on the screen, 658. 4984 and you can email them Ali's Motorspares Hardware at gmail.com. All right, guys. I didn't want that one to come up, but bring it up for me now. Let's go to that slide. If we keep the murder rate at an average of lower than 30 a month for the rest of the year per month, we might be able to fall it in within the normal average we have for the 15-year period. We are trying our best to cut it down. It will take hard work. He said in a telephone interview on Saturday, Jacob, the commissioner. When that was sent to me, I said, nah. Somebody making this up to make Jacob look bad. I mean, you don't really need much to make Jacob look bad because Jacob himself is like a walking disaster. But when I, when I saw that article, I said, nah, boy. You know, another person with, 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 with the gray matter functioning fully and willing to do their work will say, you know what, boy? I want to bring my own murders to zero, right? I want to bring it on where it have none. Somebody who care about a country and want to make a difference, but is lying a little bit and is a old thief, go see what happened. I want to bring it down to at least five and ten. Somebody who dotish, go say, well, you know, I want half of what we used to have. We got to take a little 15. But Jacob in a league by himself. Jacob is a special brand. He come like a brand of cornflakes that nobody have in his supermarket. Jacob want about 30 a day so that we could continue with the norm. And that is Rowley's choice for commissioner. And we sit down while our children are being murdered. We sit down while the blood of citizens are fertilizing the soil. We sit down while young African males are being gone down all over this country. And we accepting this. But not only that, besides being robbed, people are being murdered. They are no longer just robbing you. They are murdering you as well. So robbing you is not enough, right? They are only taking what you have. They are to kill you too. And this is what I say to these fellas outside there who have your license for arm. Anybody come to rob you, anybody come to break the law and you have your license for arm, Exercise your rights. Exercise your rights fully. Do not allow them to breed. Pump it in them. Empty an entire clip. Make sure that it have no hospital afterwards. Make sure when that person is picking him up and moving him in the ambulance, that he will fall apart in about nine pieces. Because them fellas and them cannot get up again to cause stress on anybody. They cannot. Let's go again, guys. When I tell you that Trian Bego is a joke, a repeater avenue could be year round carnival epicenter. Culture in the tourism sector is the greatest export, and we recognize that as a government, this is a part of the vision of the Ministry of Tourism. Dean Akin, CEO of Tribe Family of Brands, is right, Carnival is our greatest tourism product, but the culture of TNT is our greatest cultural and tourism export. So why stop at Carnival se season? All you, all you understand what going on eh? There are many other months in the calendar. We may have a Carnival in July, or we should have a Carnival or an event every other month. And who is that benefiting? How many people really benefit from Carnival? Less than 5%, less than 3%. How many people has been in Port of Spain? Jumping and fitting. 10, 15,000, 20,000. A lot of them visitors. How many people in Trinidad really benefit 
from that display of raw animal behavior? How many? I am not one. The majority of people that I know, they don't get involved. So therefore, who really benefited? Again, a certain group of people benefited. Right? And of course, Angostura and Carib, them celebrating because here what happened. One minute in, next minute out, and you're buying and you're going down again. Let's go again, guys. You know, when I saw this, I just had to laugh. A New Jersey transsexual prisoner who impregnated two inmates transferred to a men's facility. You know what they did there? You know it's trans, right? Man dressing up like woman and pretending they're woman. This is to tell you how dotish them people is. You go on and take a man because he says he's a woman and he dress up like a woman. You put him in a female facility and he impregnate two of them so they move him out. But you know, I have the perfect graphic for that. Right? This is the perfect graphic for that. Right? The way it was meant to be. Right? Male on one side, female on the other side. Because if you have two of the same on one side, it just cannot work. You understand? This is the way it was meant to be. And by the way, by the way, I would like to thank... I would like to thank Molana Farid, who gave a very, very, very uh, excellent khutbah or sermon on this whole LBGTQ RSTUV thing. We don't apologize for our stand. We are not homophobic. And I want to make it clear. Muslims do not hate you. We hate the act. And I want you to understand that it is not something that we accept. We will never accept it. So don't come with this dotishness by me because I have always said my religion, right, teaches us to stay far away from that, to speak out against it. So here what happened, you see that? All you remain by all yourself. Go in an island by all yourself and all you do what all you want by all yourself. Just don't come around me and my children with that dotishness at all. Right, what do you say they can? On the doubler, 100%. No apologies for what is right. Now, I'm going to show you a video here now. And this video was taken by someone. I think in the wee hours of the morning or later hours of night. And this happened at the bamboo intersection. And, and, and what happened is that that intersection, over 100 accidents. But this one, this one was one of the worst. Take a look. I go ahead. That is right by bamboo there. All right, here we go. That truck actually hit, right, the concrete barrier. And watch where it end up. Watch that. Pause. Watch where the truck end up. You feel it easy? And you know how many times, Muri, I have this sign upstairs. Tomorrow I'm installing the sign again. Come back to me, guys. Because you know why? This is Rohan and them walk. This is Rohan and them walk. And you know, I have always said that we as citizens, we tolerate too much dotishness. So let get ready. Get ready. By the thousands we are going to assemble on Baraka grounds. I will let you know what the date is, where we shall all gather all those all you who have mouth, and for those all you who like to type, all you're getting off of all your backsides now, and all you're going to raise all your voices. Right? Get ready. It come in. Let me just welcome Mitsubishi Electric to this segment. And of course, Mitsui Limited, they're the agents for Mitsubishi brand of air conditioned units. And of course, it's a 10-year warranty parts and labor. And don't forget inverter units where you save big money. You can contact them on 674-4000 or 675-4000 as well. Um, what we're going to do now is that we're going to open up our phone lines and hear what you have to say, the uh, viewing public, on everything that we have discussed here and more. And I am, um, wait, in fact, hold on. Cancel all calls. Cancel all calls. 
Let me just do a poll to find out how many people are really interested. If, and the question is, for this mini poll, if a gathering is organized at Baraka Grounds next month, will you attend, yes or no? Right? If a gathering is announced against the bad roads, against the poor governance, against the baby we have as commissioner, will you attend, yes or no? Put up the phone lines, guys. Yes or no? I will repeat while we are organizing the calls. If a gathering is planned with myself and other activists at Baraka Grounds or a place to be organized, will you attend? Yes or no? Let's open up our lines, guys, and let us hear what Trinidad and Tobago have to say. Hello? I'm saying yes to that question. Hello? I am saying yes to that question, Mission. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go again. I'm moving with speed now. Speed, guys. Hello? Okay. That person dies a busy tone. Right. We're going again. Now, uh, hello? Yes, 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 Inchan. Three yeses. Thank you very much. Now, this is only for you. It's for the whole family. Everybody coming out. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Yes, good night. A big yes to that question. Thank you very much, Kola. We're going again. No, we're getting serious now. We're getting serious now. Let me go. Hello? Yes, good night. Thank you very much, sir. We're going again. We're moving. I want to... Okay. Let me open up one more line so that we, 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 we don't tie up just two lines. We're going to tie up three lines now. 662-3160. Right? 662... Okay. Oh, and we have 645 working. 645-4426, right, good, thank you guys. Well, now see what you did, right? So we are 662-6130 or 645-4426 or 663-8373. Let's go, hello? Hello? Yes, hello? Yes, go ahead, please. I'm trained again to all here and I'll be there as well. Thank you very much, thank you very much. We're going again, hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead, please. Yes, the whole family coming. Thank you very much. Yes, I tell you, we're starting. We're priming up. We're priming. Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Yes? Yes, go ahead. Yes. My answer to the question is yes. Thank you very much. You alone or you and the whole family? Me and my entire family. Of that, course. But you young <laughs> to have an entire family, girl. <laughs> or you probably have a family that is sell tire, not an entire family. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's go again. Hello? Yeah, yes to me. Thank you very much. That's what I tell you. Time for we to gear up. Let's go again. We're going. Will you attend? Yes or no? Hello? Yes, sir. We bring in dogs and everything. <laughs> Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Yes. Thank you very much, caller. Let's go again. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, the whole of class for me and my family. Thank you very much. All right. So what is that here happening? Moody, we got to organize day, time, everything. We're putting it in place. Hello? Hello? Hello, Pinal, yes. Thank you very much, Pinal. Yes, say what area you're calling from, please. Uh, I forgot to mention, say what area you're calling from, so we have an idea. We are Claxton Bay, we are Pinal. What are the area we had so far? Okay, right. Oh, well, here happening. Mention the area you're calling from, please. Let's go again. Hello? Yes. Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. You're live. Go ahead. Yes. Right, what area you're calling from? Charlieville. Right, so Charlieville. So Charlieville coming now. Okay, she's listening to her television. That is why I, I do apologize, but you need to listen to your telephone. If you listen to your television, you'll get confused because there's a five second delay. My apologies. Let's go again. Hello? Toko, yes. Toko? Good. Toko, boy. We're going again. I want to hear Tobago. Hello? Hello? Yes. Val saying we come in, whole family. That is what you see, you see what's going on here? All again, excited now. Val saying, let me go again. Hello? 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 Yes, San Fernando, we coming down. Ay, ay, ay. That song, I again excited over this, you know, boy. Let me go again. Hello? Ay, ay, ay. Hello? Yes? Hello? 
Yes, yeah, go ahead, you're live. Yes, we are coming. Arima, the Ar whole side took me down there. Thank you so much, Arima. Now, yeah. remember, people, turn down the volume on your television for about the next three or four minutes. Let's do this. But let me just welcome Bill Telas. Now, remember, Bill Telas could build your home for $495 per square foot. And this includes security doors, everything, you name it. Also, you could check them out. You could schedule a visit to see their model house, which is located at Highbury Park in Kunupia. Right? Give them a call, 299-4079. Also, they provide everything for home construction. And believe me, I know. Let's go again. Hello? 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 Yes, go ahead, you're live. Yeah, this is Hola San Francisco coming on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's go again. Hello? 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 Hello, good night. Good night. This is Claxton Bay in the house. Yes, we will be there. Claxton Bay. Like Claxton Bay again. I find like I'm not here in Deep South. I'm not here in the West, they go Martin Hanning. I'm not here in Tenapuna. Let's go. Hello? Hello? What area? Sawa, Bidia. Sawa, Sawa, right. So we hit in, we hit in Sawa. Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Hello, yeah. Yes, yeah, square, please. Yeah, Gasprillo. We're going Gasprillo. Thank you very much. I only going to bring Caliph too because Caliph does need somebody to drive him. Let's go again. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Yes, go ahead. Yes. What area? Curep. Curep, excellent. Thank you very much, Curep. Well done. So Curep, Curep coming through. What means that we could talk to people and we could arrange maxis and all that thing. Where we make it, you know what I mean? People as people as organized yeah. with their families to go on a line. Why the whole family or the whole street do get together and you organize a maxi or why the maxi men do organize? Because the maxi men at risk. So the maximum should supply at least some service at no cost to help out. Let's let's go again. Hello. Hello. Yes, yeah. squad, you're live. Uh, yes, I come in. Johnny Ham Junction, Kunupia. Kunupia. Thank you very much, Kunupia. Let's go again. Hello. Yeah, hello. Go ahead. You're live. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, bamboo tree. Dave. <laughs> yeah, Dave. Coming up, your whole family. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you so much. All the best. We're going again. Hello. Hello, good night, sir. Good night. Yeah, call from Alwari constituency. I want to sponsor five maxi to bring people from that constituency there. A couple of tents, and that venue will be too small. The big Queen Spark Savannah. All right. And I can guarantee you that. Record my number, and I'll put $20,000 right. towards that event. Thank you very much. Now, what you could do, um, yeah, let me let, all right, thank you very much, Kola. No, what I will do, what I will do is that, the same, all right, to the gentleman that just called and want to assist with sponsorship of maxis and all the advertising we would need to do and do what we need with banners, all those things, all you have to do is just contact me, 6844762, and let's put this thing, let, let me get this thing rolling. Let me get this thing rolling. This thing, where is the move? Moody getting excited, right? Eh? Right? No, no, no. Let's get this started. And here what happening. I... We'll put up, I will put up $10,000 towards it so that we could start to plan this thing and get this thing moving. And what we'll do, we're going to invite people from all sides. I want Gary Griffith to be there. I want Philip Alexander to be there. I want somebody from the UNC side to be there. I want somebody from PNM side. So therefore, it does not take a political flavor. You understand what I'm saying? What I want is people from all over. I want people from Beatum to come and talk about the condition that they have had to endure for years. And what really, here what happening? Change of venue happening. Right? Wait now, my phone going off the hook now, boy. People like they're excited over this, boy. Yeah, but you know what's going on? They will never approve permission. No, but we'll do it. No, we'll apply. We'll apply for permission for the Arangwe Savannah. Yeah? We will apply for permission. Right? For the wrong way, Savannah. And I'll not do it on my name. <laughs> Let's go. Hello? Hello? Hello, good night. Good night. Yeah, I hold it on, sir. Yeah, no, you go ahead, you're live, go ahead. Okay, I come from Mondo Nuevo. Mondo Nuevo is where? where, where that real Talpao. Talparo is there. Where? Talparo. Talparo, okay, okay. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah, we're coming on. Excellent, excellent. I know what we're going to do. 
We're going to get some Triton trucks and what we're going to do is do like what we did before, all over the country. All over the country. We're moving all over the country. Enough is enough. Right, let's go again. Hello? 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 Yes, go ahead, please, your life. Yeah, Pfizer, what come in? Right, and uh, here I'm like, I tell earlier, thank you very much, Pfizer. I just want people to understand. I don't want anything out of this. I don't want no power. I don't want to be in no political position. All I want, boys, is, is I, I hear happening. My workers and I, we were fixing road the other day in Bamboo. And it so happened after we fixed the road, the rain come and wash out almost half everything. So what happened is that we shouldn't be doing these things, especially as taxpayers. When you see a minister getting a million dollars tax exemption on a vehicle, and a million dollars could fix all the pothole in Bamboo 1, 2, and 3. So one minister, one minister, what he's saving could cause we to repair all the roads in three villages. And we sit down and we take in that. Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Yes, I'm Good night. Good night. Thank you very much, Freeport. No, this is what I tell you. This, I want this, and I want, and here what's happening. This must not take any party affiliation. What I want is for the people who care about country, for us to all come together, like Stefan Reyes, who was robbed recently, yeah. right? And a few others. Um, this girl from Iknak, um, she is very, very vocal too as well. Um, a, a powerful speaker. Those are the people that I want. When we're done, we must be able to wake up Trinidad and Tobago, where tens of thousands of people must be gathered, and it must send a signal that here we're happening, we now starting. Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead, please. What's that? Yes, go ahead, you're live. Uh, St. Joseph, St. Joseph calling in. All right, so St. Joseph coming down. Right. Thank you so much, yeah. St. Joseph. We're going again. We're going again. I, I want to move as fast as possible. Let's go. Hello? Thank you very much, Kola. Thank you. And now let's say the numbers are coming down to 5, 3, 2, 50. The whole village. <laughs> yes, Aruka coming down. Aruka. Thank okay, you. All right. Thank all right. you so much, sir. Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Yes, Good go ahead. Evening, Federation Park. Federation Park. Thank you so much, Federation Park. Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, Inchon, Pfizer, buddy. This is long overdue. We're coming down. No, no. Like I tell you, this, it, it, it reached a point now where how much tires we got burn in 15 exactly. different areas, boy. When we well, could the hear up, up. The country is fed up. We fed up. No, we no, fed no. Up. We, we fed up. We something. fed up. So, thank you very much, caller. So, what okay. we're going to do, instead of everybody lighting their own fire... What we're going to do is that we're going to all come together in a peaceful gathering where we, will, where we will obey the laws of Trinidad and Tobago and where we will highlight the issues that need to be highlighted. For the businessmen who are watching this, please come together because we will need to get the stage and all those things put in place and we will see how best we can push this ASAP. Let's go again. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. I, I am Sean. This is long over. You're always a waste of time. They're going to Martin coming down. Thank you so much. You, you, no, I, and, I think, and I think that is the key to it. It is long overdue. I think um, because I, I did it in the past where I got the people to come together, a lot of people were waiting for this to happen again. So this is coming, coming like a decade later. More than a decade later. Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Yes, Hello? Yes, go ahead. Bridge and Castle will be there. Thank you so much. You're bringing sugar? Uh, yeah, no, um, we have a sugar up here. Um, Mash that up. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go again. Hello? Oh, good night. It's Rob. Yes, go ahead. You got Martin coming. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, trying to find, I'm trying to find something here. Hello? 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 Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I want um, Philip Alexander to speak about the, the road that was paved to go to the church. The morning, Imbert calling, Imbert's son was getting married and he went and filmed it. I want him to speak to that because I do have money to repair other roads where people, vehicles mashing up in Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, and, and that and many other things you will be hearing about. Many, many, many other things. So therefore, let's go again. Hello? 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 Yes, sentence, go ahead. Sentence, sentence, the whole coming down. Thank you. And here what happened, eh? I don't want to let leave this here tonight now. What we are going to do is that from tomorrow morning, we're going to hit the airwaves, all radio stations, all TV stations. You're going to start to get them involved. And to those of you who are custom calling the radio station, we call in it the assembly. Right? Right? And what we, the banner that we're going with is one voice. Sounds familiar? Right? One voice, the assembly. Right? So just when you call the radio station, good morning, San Fernando. Get ready for the assembly. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing. You're sending that, you're sending that throughout the airwaves, left, right, and center. And watch what is going to happen. Everybody go want to know, well, what's going on? Where's this assembly thing about? Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead, please. Yeah, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Warrenville coming down. Well, I know Warrenville have a huge amount of people there, and we have a lot of supporters there from Warrenville, so definitely... So definitely, I know that's a big one. Let's go again. Hello? Call him from the Martin. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Call him from the West. We had to get rid of our man down here. <laughs> Everybody coming out. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's go again. Hello? Hello. This is Robert. I will be coming down. My brother, is, thank you so much. This is what I want. You see all areas. Lavante, la hoketa. How much longer? We fed up No, this is what I'm saying. It reached a point where we yeah. all fed up now. Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Hello, good night. Good night. I want to motivate. I want to bring down the whole of the SS investors. The whole of? The SS investors. So okay, the <laughs> only and, the SS investors. Only. Yeah, and um and um <laughs> While we are that, um, I want um, I want to see how. Hello. He, as soon as he mentioned DSS, they cut him off there, boy. Let's go again. Let me just welcome Extra Care to this segment. And of course, remember, Extra Care is available at supermarkets nationwide. Let's go again, guys. Hello. 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 Yes. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes, go ahead. Um, Labre is coming. Labre. I, 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 now, hear what's happening. I don't want to hear nobody say they know how to get transport. All you organize, I will, I will call businessmen in Labre. I'll call on people to sponsor maxis. I'm calling on the green band, the red band, the yellow band, the black band, all the band, even rubber band. I'm calling all of them to put all your maxis to use and transport people. All right, let's go again. Hello? How are you? Hello? Yeah, hi, good night. Good night. Yeah, uh, we are calling from Piaco, but the amount that we want to come, like, we got to take no maximum, we got to take plane. Is that any <laughs> place to <laughs> No, no, this is what I tell you. What is going to happen now? It's because everybody fed up, and we have had enough, right? So thank you very much, Cole. I mean, Caliph. When I calculate how much money I spent in the last year with repairs with the BMW, with, the, with the, my Range Rover, it's over $40,000 plus. And I mean, why should I? Because of my government. And look the other day, when I check, I have my VAT clearance, I have my tax clearance, everything that I have up to mark. So, you understand? So, you, you, but, but, but it can't continue. It cannot continue. Let's go again. Hello? Hello, Tobago, we coming. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Tobago, here what happened? Tobago, I need you to organize a place somewhere. I'm coming up in Tobago on the second week in August, and I need to get, um, I need somewhere good to say, somewhere nice. So make your contacts and call me. All right. Thank you very much, my friend. Yeah. What is that? Um, hmm. Let's go again. Hello? Hello, good night, Mr. Enchan. Good night, my dear. Lance Mitan with Carnage will be there. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, Karinaj. And you know, I, I said it last week. I was so disappointed in this bar going down by, you know, when you pass the Karinaj police station, there's the bar on the right hand side, Venezuelan, and the Venezuelans were there with their children drinking by the bar. 
And I find that was so disgusting what these parents are introducing to their children. If you want to drink, that is your business. But oh God, leave the children out of that now, man. Oh God. Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead, please. You're live. Yes, Warrenville here. We will be there. Good word. We're looking like they're getting ready, boy. Hello? Let's go again. Hello? Hello? Hello, good night. Good night. Mr. Inshan? Yes, sir. Yes, I want to burn on the whole of the but we need a try star 500, but <laughs> we're only going too long in the government now. <laughs> All right. I, I think you got to go by the museum to get the try star 500. I, my son don't even know what we're talking about when we said the try star 500. It's a plane. It, that was it, yeah. That was the real thing, try star. Boy. Hello? Hello? Yes, go ahead, please. Hello, good night. Good night. Um, Greenville will be coming down. Which one? Greenville. Greenville. Right, that. right, Greenville. Yes. Excellent, man. Yes. Excellent, excellent. And here happening. All your walking with all your banner, all your placard, all the people who have been murdered over the last few years. Right? I want Sean Luke's mother to be there because she has to go through the torture again. Through the courts, you know, it, the whole thing has to go back over again. I want uh, Akil Chambers' family and so many people here happening. Everybody, any problem that is a problem, all you're coming out, we're organizing. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. The whole of our work coming out in chat. I, I, well, here what happening. I know Barak poor people, and I must commend Barak poor people. Eh? They do, they're serious. We don't eh? play, we don't play. No, 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 all they do play. And what happening is that here what happening. We want the police officers as well to support us in this. We want the officers who families at risk to support us. So let us go again. Hello? Hi, good night. Good night. Yes, this is our answer from Kelly Village. Yes, go ahead, uh, Kelly, uh huh. So, so you all will be coming down full, full blow? Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much. And as I said before, to those of you who would like to assist us with the stage, with the PA system, with the rental of the Triton trucks that we will be moving from point to point all over, um, of course, they have to have permission on the windscreen, etc., um, for the audio system. We want to make sure everything is in compliance with the law. Right, let us know. You can contact me, 6844762. That's my number. Let's go again, guys. Hello? Hello? Hello, Inchan. Good night. Good night. Princess Tong coming down. Princess Tong, everybody, thank you so much. Everybody. No, because how, I mean, somebody had sent me a text, eh, boy, in regards to, you know, the couple that had burnt and they had said that the, the fire, um, the fire um, appliance couldn't come because of the bad road and they reached late. So many things happen, yeah. and that road has yeah. not been repaired as yet, you know. You know, so, so all right, and looking forward to seeing what some areas we, right. we, we haven't heard from. We are here from Grandi. We haven't heard from Grandi. Mayaro. We haven't heard from Digo Martin proper. Let's go again. Hello? 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 Yes, go ahead, you're live. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Um, this is Sprinter Stone calling, 20 of them coming down. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Now, I, I, let me just pause for a second. To those of you who just joined us, like Ayuka Abdul Hamid, right? This is just to advise that what happened is that I had suggested that we have a gathering where all the people of Trinidad and Tobago who fed up with what is going on, from bad roads to the crime, etc. let us have something called the assembly where we all meet one evening and we will have speakers um, activists, etc., there, and we will present a program and we will call on the government to do X, Y, and Z. In other words, we will make demands of the government. And what happened is that we were planning to have it at Baraka Grounds, but based on the fact that the amount of people interested in this now, we have to shift venue. So this has to go to a savannah. So the question was if you would be attending and what area you're calling from. Right? And like I said before, I want you to start, what we'll do is that we'll design the flyer tonight and we'll send it out on social media so that you could share it. Let's go. Hello? 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 Oh, yeah. I'm born in West Aruka. 
Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you so much. This is, this is for what children sake. Huh? I mean, every day we have so many birth of children, of young babies coming out. And to, to, to bring them up in this hellhole, I mean, really and truly, no. no. We have had enough. Hello? Hello? Yeah, Tuna Puna calling. Hello? Tuna Puna. Tuna Puna. Yeah, I heard Tuna Puna very softly. Yeah. Let's go again. Hello? 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 Yes, go ahead, please. Yes, um, my name is Imsha. I'm calling from California, Point Vistas. I'm supporting it 100%. I have my mic. I'm willing to work it free in the whole of the central area. Ta call me, call me tomorrow. I want the mic man to call me tomorrow who interested all the truck I, men. I, I want the main mic man in, in Trinidad and Tobago. Thank you. Call me tomorrow, my we friend. Call the mic man. Thank you so I'm much, my brother. I'm watching the program right now. You see, you see what's going on here? So what I want, all the treat on the audio men, um, the big Tom and all those big, the trailer truck men with your audio systems, contact me. I'm, my number is on the screen right now. What I did in 2007, when 95% of the country decided to come together, we are going to repeat because we had enough, right? So I need you all to come together now because this could be my last hurrah. I mean, since I buried one of our friends last week, every single day, every single day, he's on my mind. Strangely enough, huh? every single day. Um, maybe it was because I saw him a day or two before and he was full of life. I don't know how long I have again. I don't know if tomorrow might be my last. Next month, God alone knows. What happened is that in Arabic, it is said, kun for your kun, be and it'll be, and that is the end of you. So let me do what I could do while I am here, rather than six feet under. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Yes? Go ahead, please. Hello, good night. Good Calling night. from Sunny Grandi, yes. <laughs> Coming down from Sunny Grandi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sunny Grandi. And I want to hear from the Maxi man as well. Text me. And let me know if the Maxi Association, if you're willing to get your members to sponsor uh, Maxis for us to use, etc. Right? Let me just well, um, thank Miran for sponsoring this segment. And I could mention 50 different things that Miran carry. But when you talk about Miran, you talk about quality products at quality prices. Let's go again, guys. Hello? Hello? Oh, good evening, Mr. Ishmael. Yes, good evening. PD Book St. Joseph, we're coming down. Thank you so much, St. Joseph. Thank you so much. I mean, there was, there was a, row, a hole in St. Joseph that I see on the main road. But you could put a casket inside it. And, you know, um, a lot of people trying to get me on my cell. Unfortunately, a huge amount of people, I, about 65 missed calls. Do me a favor now. I can't take any calls right now because um, I'm on air. So do me a favor. If you want to contact me, WhatsApp me, please, at 684-4762, and I promise that I will reply, all right? So do me a favor, contact me via my phone line. Let's go. Hello? 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 Yes, go ahead, please. You're live. Hello, Enshan. Yes. Hello, Enshan. I'm going to Sandra Cruz, Posse, coming down. I'm also going to my MP, Dolly Gatsby. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. How things? Good, good. Good, very good. Sandra Cruz, going down Maraca side. Um, definitely. Let's go again. We'll take about we'll take about five more calls on this. Let me hear. Let me hear where people stand. Hello. Hello, Enterprise coming. Thank you. So, and, and and you see, Enterprise is turning back into a hotspot again. More murders. The young man, the child that was almost murdered, that was Enterprise. So again, Enterprise people, come out in your numbers, please. Let's go again. Hello. Yes. Go ahead, please. Hello. I'm trying to get on to Inchon. Speaking. Oh, you speak. Oh, um, Inchon, I, I don't have an answer for you, but I would like to say that the reason the roads are in this terrible condition is because perhaps our pitch lake has been given to the Chinese. I've heard those whispers before, and I think that is quite possible. No, but, no, but what, what is happening is that Let's say, let's play the devil's advocate and say that that is true. I mean, we used the pitch four or five years ago from our pitch lake, and it should not be in the condition and it is. You go anywhere in the world where they pave a road, they don't need to rehabilitate that road in two years and three years. In Trinidad, we recycle roads faster than jockey shorts. 
That's funny. All right, then. Anyway, thank I just wanted to tell you that. Thank you very much, caller. Guys, I don't know why, but on that line, I'm hardly hearing the caller, so I don't know if you have to adjust your output. Hello? Hello? Hi. Yes, good evening, sir. I said this, Pastor Ed, they go Martin here again. I wish we could organize this in Rowley constituency. <laughs> yeah, but where, unfortunately, that they wouldn't approve that at all. You know, you know what's going to happen, right? You know they wouldn't approve that. But I would love, I wish I could abide the blimp. <laughs> I'm putting blimp right over the constituency, right? And send my special messages every day. Or stand up and wave to him every day. Let's go. Three more calls. Hello? Yeah, Ishma? Yes. Brazil coming down. Which part? Brazil. 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 Yeah. Well, again, an idea how far this program reaches all over. Let's go again. Hello. Hello. Assalamu alaikum, Shan. Wa alaikum assalam. Well, I am supporting you all. I'm calling from you from Ruga, boy. Wow. I'm trying to organize, <laughs> organize a maxi to come down. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you know, I want... I want pundits, I want priests, I want imams, I want all of you to get your flocks together. I want members of the Christian community to come out in your large numbers, the Pentecostal, the Catholic, the Hindus, the Muslims, all you must be able to speak out. And, and we will have a few religious leaders talking there as well too about what is going on. So let us, let us go to... Um, let us go to our lines. I believe two final calls. Hello? Hello? Yes? Yes, go ahead, you're live. Lord Valsin will be there. Thank you so much, Lord Valsin. And as I said before, <clears throat> um, all right, that's it for calls, right, guys? Hello? Yeah, that's it. Right, so I... Right, no, what I'm is that somebody is saying... Um, I don't want to make it overtly political. I, I really don't want the politics to tie this up for anybody to go there to promote themselves. So what happens is that we will rely more on the activist side of things rather than the political side of things because we don't want it to go there to be a campaign for anybody. Right? So um, I just want to tell you that um, for me, this is something that I have been wanting to do for the last maybe year or two, but it's just that I had so many court cases with the police tied up. Anytime they arrested me again, I would have surely not gotten bail because what happened is that because of the amount of charges, remember there were serious charges placed against me. So what happened is that I had to play it cool. And what happened is that this is why now I have no charges. <laughs> I have nothing pending. <laughs> So therefore, my record, and I even got a certificate of good character. Imagine me getting a certificate of good character. So therefore, my records are clean. So therefore, and as I, I will repeat, this gathering is for the betterment of Trinidad and Tobago. And just for the police service who are watching right now, I am not the one planning it. The person who is planning this, his name is Moody from Arangwes, right? And um, he's the person in charge. You can contact him if you need any information. And his assistant is Caliph, right? So they're the ones planning this whole thing. All right, so my friends, thank you so much. Remember what I told you? One voice presents the awakening, right? And tonight, maybe um, what I will do is that we'll ask for suggestions for date. Uh, I know we'd want to do it before school reopens. So what we could do is maybe the weekend after our bazaar, the weekend after the bazaar, right? On the Sunday. So that is the plan, and we'll take it from there. God bless you. Be safe, people. And oh, by the way, just a reminder about tomorrow. Tomorrow, just for a few hours, we have the dragon fruit, which we bought to assist people who love this fruit. We, it's selling at $35 a pound at Baraka Grounds. And of course, you're paying other places, $60, $70, $50 a pound. And we only have limited stock tomorrow. So for those of you who want, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., head down to Baraka Grounds. Otherwise, you lose it out. All right? And again, I look forward to seeing you at Baraka Grounds on Friday. Come down with the family. And lastly, um, many families are booking the pool facilities that we have. 
And what is happening is that, unfortunately, we cannot just throw out a family to put a family because it's your son's birthday or whatever, whatever. If you pre-book about two, three weeks before, we will be able to help you out. So if, there's, uh, if you want to use the pool, if you want to rent the pool facility in a month's time, please don't wait about a week before. Because right now it's getting very busy on a weekend where people are booking it for a lot of family events. And it's a safe place, a secure place. All right? And like I said, it's very low cost. So therefore, you could um, take advantage. All right? So folks, God bless you. Have a great Wednesday evening. Be safe outside there. Take care of your family. And to the children watching right now, respect your parents. Honor your parents. And there will come a time when those same parents who are standing or sitting next to you will not be around. Learn from them because the years of parenting gave them something called wisdom. And many of us when we were young did not understand why our parents made the decisions that we made. But as we get older now, we realize. In ending now, the second week in August, I'm looking, I, I want to head out to Tobago. So I'm looking, I realize that 90% of the place is booked up. So if there's anywhere that for my friends in Tobago, somewhere nice, uh, looking to rent uh, maybe a house in plantations or somewhere real nice, uh, if, if you could arrange your booking and I will sort you out to pay you, let me know, please, because, you know, I, I want a free thing now. Right? So God bless you. Take care, my friends. And I will catch you next week for Breaking Barriers. Look out for the assembly coming soon. Assalamu alaikum and good evening.